tractor patterns are designed to trigger an aggressive response. They are my preferred choice when trout aren't interested in suggestive or imitative patterns or their presentation techniques. My jelly mop covers all the key trigger points common to any attractor pattern. Here are the materials you'll need to tie your own suite of jelly mops. So let's tie the jelly mop. A blend of a number of different attractors, a mop fly and a blob or a um, fab even though we don't have the foam in here. Um, there are times that trout will not eat the natural stuff which I'd much rather imitate and you've got to pull out the dark side stuff, the attractors. And this fly on a recent trip down to Argentina, hung under an indicator of all things, really produced. So it's in my fly box now for those occasions when you need trout to bite and they're not going to bite the natural stuff you've been throwing at them. Into the jaws of the vise, I've got a Daiichi 1530 number 8. Uh, you can probably tie this on a 10 as well, but 8's been my standard go-to size. Doing a chartreuse variation, so we've got uh, 1 8 tungsten bead or brass bead, whatever you choose. Uh, I'll slid onto the, onto the uh, hook, and now we're just going to use chartreuse tying thread. This is the MFC uh, 6 or 8 Just get this in place, snap off the excess. Cover that shank with a firm thread base, so we got lots of traction. And the tail, rather than using marabou or foam, the marabou would be like a booby style, or a, a foam would be a fab. We're going to use, yes, mop fingers uh, from your car wash mops, your dust mops, your rugs. You find these in in the Walmarts of the world, uh, in all different sections and different colors. Um, this is a chartreuse one, so that's what we're using. And we just trim this right off. Just trims this right off like you would deer hair. And we want a tail that is about the shank length long, so we're just going to come in like you would chenille, strip off the excess to expose the core. Just going to moisten them and sort of stick them all together. One loose root, two loose loops around to encompass the material with thread so you can lock it in. And then just bind everything down. And again, the tail, and this thing when it gets wet, just, I don't know what trout like about it, but they like it. So that's what we're feeding. And then we're going to use, uh, some of the jelly frits, a very translucent uh, uh, material, uh, really works great on this fly. This is the pale olive, which is kind of a chartreuse look in coloration. And the best way to deal with this material, you could tie it in dry, but I have off camera been have length set aside in a glass of water. So it's all moist. And we're just gonna tie that in by the core right at the base of our mop tail and just bind that in place all the way up. Come back. Hold that back. And then to really sort of illuminate the, the body from the inside, uh, an underwrap of Mirage Opal works well. So when this fly gets wet, it helps the light penetrates through, reflects off this Opal Mirage Opal underbody and really helps light up the fly even more. So we're going to tie this in place. And I used this technique when I demonstrated the uh, fab uh, you can also find on my channel. I'm just going to wind that up and then just close touching turns. Wind the Mirage Opal forward, creating that underbody. And the beauty of Mirage Opal 2 is it mirrors or picks up the colors around it as well. So we're giving it a it's got a bit of a chartreuse glow to it now as well. And we just wind this up. Right up to the rear of the bead. Tie it off. Once, twice. And we're good. And now we just take our jelly fritz and 
The beauty of tying it wet, we want a nice compact body. So with each wrap, I'm putting it right in front of the previous wrap and using my left thumb and forefinger to sweep these fibers back. Trying not to trap any down. And we're just going to keep winding this forward, forming the body. So, you know, these kind of flies are often maligned. People out and out hate them. Um, but you do need to, to understand that trout don't always take our flies out of a feeding response. Sometimes we have to use, trigger their natural predatory instincts, their curiosity, their territoriality, their aggression to get them to eat. And when they get on small stuff, like glassworms or chaobrus larvae or zooplankton where it's almost impossible we don't tie flies in size 92's or in the case of chaobrus that are crystal clear you've got to give them an alternative and this style of fly these mops and these attractors work very well so I've just packed that right in against the bead I'm gonna come in sort of turn it a little bit sideways I'm trying to work the thread through the fibers and then we'll come back in lock them off and then carefully work our way in and just nip the core out and all it's left to do is to coat our thread with a little adhesive I'm just going to use some of the Solara's bone dry here and just coat that right on to the thread take advantage of that moistened wet material just wind that right in and then whip finish disengage and then come in and cure that up and you can see I don't know if that how that pops but it just lights right up and again that is your finished jelly mop you won't spend a lot of time at the vice tying them but boy when they're on the small stuff or just being persnickety and won't feed, cast and retrieve or hung under an indicator, give this jelly mop a try. For more information on fly fishing, and still water fly fishing in particular, please visit my website at flycraftangling.com. Here you will find fishing tips, fly patterns, articles, information regarding my seminars and schools, along with links to my blog and mine and Brian Chan's online Stillwater Fly Fishing Store. You can also visit our store directly at stillwaterflyfishingstore.com. While you're visiting my site, please join my mailing list to receive my educational newsletters. You can also follow me through my social media channels. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and give this video a like. Please take the time to watch my other videos as well. Thanks for watching.